Hey everybody, I just got to African Village. Super excited to go through. I'm going to show you some of the cool things that I'm seeing and then we're going to shop. Look at these awesome bags. Look at that shape. They're just amazing. The website in case you're interested. Okay, in this booth, I'm seeing some stuff I haven't seen before. So these larger rondelles are very large. Look at these triple color, huge beads. Those are probably like 27 millimeter, I would say. There's my finger next to them. They're huge. And then we have some like confetti beads. <laughs> and then over here, there were some really, really pretty um, crowns. I haven't seen patterns before so I might get some. Looks almost like pomegranates I think. And we've got some really cute flowers over here. Hi! And then some good colors. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask this lovely gentleman how much these beads are. Look at this stunning, first of all, overt like serape or whatever it is, but then look at this beautiful necklace. Look at that. It's gonna cause you some neck pain. <laughs> It's beautiful though. And then look at this one. This one is absolutely amazing. I want the flex those here anywhere. <laughs> look at these huge beads. Oh my God. <laughs> those are bigger than gold. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. They're, these are shell. Carved shell. Absolutely amazing. We've got some beautiful pendants. Look at that guy. Alright, first purchase for the shop. So these are made out of recycled flip flops. Can you imagine? These are so cool. They have them in every color. And then they've got some chains over here. So, so cool. You never know what you're going to find at African Village. <laughs> This booth is just amazing. The um, really nice jewelry that they have. Right now, I don't think I have a jewelry budget. Maybe later in the week, I'll come back for jewelry, jewelry. But look at these wrapped necklaces, all these amazing pendants that are hanging up. They're so gorgeous. Look at this huge mask I'm thinking about buying for my house. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta uh, think about it for a couple days, but it's enormous and she's beautiful. Look at that rooster. He's huge. These beautiful masks and shields and whatever this huge bird is. This awesome comb. Or, well, I am gonna have to check to see how much this is because I really like it. Scorpion up there. Some more masks and shields and some statues and lots of cloths. I feel like I'm in another country. Somebody asked me to showcase some baskets. So here is one type of basket that they have here. Tons of cool colors. I know, I already touched them, Deb. <laughs> so, and we've got Stacy here with us. Hi, Stacy. And we've got Cindy and Deb. Um, and we're just kind of walking around African Village. We're having a blast. It is wonderful. It's like 75 degrees out here. And we're just shopping. Look at this. All right. We've got more baskets. Different really cool. <laughs> I got a picture of you with it, too. We've got little bottle brush trees back there. More baskets baskets as far as i can see look at these larger ones these are gorgeous wow look at the vibrance oh my goodness look at these jugs back here these are cool look this got like in
Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with um, my first haul from Tucson. This one's going to be from African Village. I went there several times um, and uh, I also bought some African beads at one of the other shows so I'll probably put those in here. A lot of this stuff will be on my website. Um, maybe not all at the same time. I might put a few things in. Um, the first drop is going to be on February 24th. But anyway, I'm also going to put in a bunch of content here if I haven't already for this video from African Village so you can see what I saw. I posted a video or I posted a photo of these heart bowls on Facebook and you all convinced me that you wanted some. So I bought a few and they will be going into the shop. Um, and I, I didn't pick them randomly. I picked, I thought what the, were the best ones. Um, I will be selling these for $16 and they range in size, but not too, too much. So, um, and I'll, I'm not going to put like exact sizes in the, um, listings, but I'll put them next to like a, like measuring tape or a ruler or something, but you can kind of see how big they are. They're not the biggest bowl, but I'm going to run through the ones that I have really quickly. So there's two. I don't know why I love this one so much. It just had a little bit of the giraffe print at the bottom. They're all different. They're all different. Like you could see that this one's smaller than that one, but they're all going to be the same price. Aren't these cute? I don't think I got two that were exactly the same. So if you see one that you have your heart set on, just make sure you're there when the like the site goes live. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It almost looks like little Wi-Fi's. <laughs> but you can see like that's a little bit different shape and it's a little bit smaller than this one. But not by much. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. And these are all from Kenya. I don't know what type of wood they are, but they are from Kenya. Look how pretty they are. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just love hearts so much. And I know I'm going through these really fast, but I have a bunch of them. Um, unfortunately, once they're sold out, they're sold out though, because I'm not going to Kenya to get more. Maybe next year I'll get more, but look, look at those. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I seriously, I, I, I bought two myself for me. Well, I bought two for myself. I don't know where they are right now, so I'll try and get them into this video if I can. Look how, this one's like the tiniest one on, and it's still the same price as the bigger ones because I paid the same price for them. And then that's the last one. So those are all the heart bowls. People were very insistent that I pick some up. <laughs> so hopefully you like them. Uh, the beads I'm about to show you I got from uh, the Gem Mall, but I bought them from somebody who also had a stall at um, African Village. And I did buy from his son at African Village. He was such a sweet guy. Um, and his son was such a cutie. And I had a lot of fun shopping with them. So these were new this year, so I had to pick them up. I haven't seen them before. He didn't know what kind of seed or nut this is. But it is, I think he said it was a nut, but it could be a seed. It's very soft, not like, like it's hard. It's hard, but it's like soft to the touch. And it looks like birch or something like that. But I just love it. Like they shaved off all the outer um, pieces of the, the nut or the seed or whatever it was. And left us with just this really, really cool vibe on the inside. This is... Uh, graduated so they're bigger to smaller I mean I could just walk around wearing that it is kind of heavy not too heavy not as heavy as you'd think for beads that big and I got it in this shape too so these almost look like like um Brazil nuts or almonds or something but they're not they're stronger than that so I got um a strand each of these for me these are for me <laughs> I will tell you what's going in the store <laughs> um I did buy these for me as well they were the nicest strand he had um, and I kind of labored over it for a minute. I was like, oh, do I really want to buy these? Um, but I really did like the wood color. Like a lot of the stuff in my house is this wood color um, and the bone in the middle. So these are glued wood, bone, wood. And they're just really, really nice. Oh, I love those. I got some uh, bone, batik bone discs. I'm pretty sure these are going to end up in the shop at some point. So I got some, um, some polka dots because you know I love polka dots and I don't know what this symbol is it's just like a like a stripey symbol so oh man you know what I just noticed he gave me one dang it one that's like half polka dots and half stripies because I didn't take it out 
um, myself because they, they have them in huge bundles. Well, that stinks, but that's okay. If you want something that's like half and half, that actually kind of helps somebody who's who can't make up their mind. All right, so we got those discs. Um, pretty sure I have these already, so these might make it probably by piece into the shop. These are also bone beads. They've got like a carved little bullseye in them. Uh, the bone beads, they are hollow and then they fill them with wood so that it can make the, the, um, can make the hole smaller. Um, still the hole is big in the wood, but you can actually pop those out if you just want like the bone part. And then, I got three strands of these sand cast beads because I really like them. I loved the colors. I hadn't seen these colors together. I'm probably going to keep one of these strands and sell the other two or sell them as pieces because not everybody wants a whole strand of these. And these are big strands. Love those colors. So that was that guy at Gem Mall. But like I said, I, I put it in here because he, he had also a stall at African Village and an African Beat. Now, this stuff I got from his son at African Village. Same company, just, you know, they're in two different places. Okay, I got several strands of these um, wood and metal beads. I will be putting those in the shop. Again, I don't know when they'll, because I'm working on a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't think everything that I got in Tucson is going to go in all at once. It just, I think that'll be impossible for me. Um, so I'm trying, to, I'm going to try and do drops of my, um, personal beads that I'm making, my artisan beads, and other beads every two weeks. We'll see if I can manage that. If not, it'll be monthly. But I mean, we're gonna have, it's more like a curated, like boutique bead site because I have, I, I can't tell you how many people I've had asked me, like, can you just go shopping for me? <laughs> but that's what this is gonna kind of be like. Like, I'm gonna be your bead shopper and then you go in and see what you like. Um, so strands of these are gonna be in the shop. I don't know if it's gonna be like this full strand or if I'll piece it out. Do you, when you're shopping for African beads, or if you've never had shopped for African beads, what quantities are you looking for? Are you looking for a huge strand like this, or are you looking for like five pieces, ten pieces, something like that? I don't know the name of these, but they are ceramic. They're very old. They're very dirty, and um, they're I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with them. I say that at least once every time I come back from African Village. But they're so cool. They're so heavy. And you can see how old these are and dirty. Like some of them have broken. Um, I'm just going to kind of hang on to them. I think at one point they were pink. They're like a faded pinky red now. Uh, they're really cool. I think they're really neat. I would never wear a whole necklace because they're too heavy. Then um, we had a little bit of an issue. I, I wanted this whole really cool strand of carnelian. These are like old African carnelian. And he cut the strand at the wrong spot. So like half the, not even half the strand was like removed. Um, so it kind of got, they kind of started falling off the strand. But look, look at these carnelians. They're like a little heart shaped shield shape. And this one was graduated. And this was the strand that I really, really wanted. And unfortunately, a lot of them fell off. And I'll show you, I got another strand too, because I wanted a full strand. So I got this one for $5 off. It was 15, which I think was the wrong price. I don't know. I think that was crazy price for what they were charging or what you got because I mean, I feel like this should have been $45 at least. Um, but I got it for 10 because he cut it in the wrong spot and I kind of picked up some stray pieces that were kind of falling all around, but look, I can't, you can't see how cool this is on camera, but it's super duper cool. I would use these sparingly. Um, I'm going to wash if I ever use this, I would wash it first because it has some active dirt in it. <laughs> um, and then stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to video myself washing beads because I know some of you are like, you can wash beads? Yeah, you definitely can. It just depends on what kind of beads they are. So, gosh, 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 gosh. Okay. This, I got this strand of beads. This is a full strand for $15. There's no way he charged me the right price for these. But that's what he had marked. Um, this one is kind of graduated. It's a different shape. Some of them are that shield shape, but some of them are like a trapezoid shape or a triangle. I don't know. Um, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. The carnelian's gorgeous. It's very old. Um, you know I love carnelian. It's such a pretty color. 
Um, and then last thing from that stall were these uh, brass discs. Mama is keeping these. <laughs> I've had my eye on these for a long, very long time. And um, everybody was charging way too much for them. And I think, again, he gave me the wrong price because he was newer at selling beads. His, like I said, his dad was over at Gem Mall. And then the son, was. this was his first time selling beads. Everything on the tables were marked. But I think he put these in the wrong spot. So, um, but anyway, I snatched these up. Uh, and I love them. There's tons on there. I feel like I should have gotten two, but, you know. Your dollar only goes so far. And then, um, oh, I have some loose carnelian here. And then I just have some loose carnelian. That was from that one strand. Look at this one. That's really cool. I love these. My hands are so dirty after just touching all these beads. All right, I got these beads from the same family, but it was uh, the dad's cousin. He was across the aisle at Gem Mall, and I hadn't seen um, these, like, square-shaped polka dot beads before so I got three strands of them so obviously I'm going to keep one strand and then some of the others are going to go into my shop um super duper cute they look like little dominoes these are batik bone meaning um the natural color is obviously that white um and then they put something on it to um block out whatever dye they use to dye the beads so that's what batik means I know I already have something very similar to this so I probably will be putting these into the shop. I just really love them. They're really cute. I love the stripes. I don't know if they'll be in a mix, whatever. Making mixes is really not my favorite thing to do because although they're pretty cool, it takes so much time. And then I bought these for myself um, because I didn't have these colors. And I actually took pictures of my Ashanti beads before I went down. Ooh, those look nice together, don't they? These three. Oh, with the carnelian. Ooh, I may have to do a piece like that. That's really cool. Um, I didn't have these this color um, and I took pictures with me because every year I'm like take pictures with you because you buy the same colors every year and this year I didn't buy the same colors um, and then I loved these co like confetti these are all little glass seed beads that they mix into regular like white glass to make the recycled glass beads isn't that fun oh there we go that's better so I love those tons of fun. I bought two because sometimes if I don't, I won't use the beads. Um, this was another color I hadn't had before. A nice brown. Ugh, I'm loving this brown and red. Like I didn't even think of that before. I'm going to have to make a piece like that. Got this really dark blue. So pretty. These are not Ashanti beads, but they're also, they're, they're like the, kind of like that shape, but they're not the exact type. Like these are matte, um, and these are a little bit more geometric, I would say. These are kind of rounded, but I love how these have the um, inclusions in them. That's what I call them, but it almost looks like granite or something. They're glass. And then this vendor had purple. These are very light purple Ashanti beads. I didn't have this color, so I got three strands. One will stay with me. Two are probably going to go in the shop, um, or maybe I'll do like like that many beads together. I don't know. Again, comment. Let me know how you would prefer to buy those types of beads. All right, so these are actually the first beads I bought at African Village, and the, the, the man was such a sweetheart, and I loved him so much. Um, and his name is Aji. And I got a bunch of pendants for um, my site. These two, I think these two are the two that I'm keeping. I just love them. I love their little polka dots on his head and the little swirls on his head. But I did get some for you. <laughs> Don't worry. I did get some. And these are quite large compared to um, some of the pendants that I've used in the past. So kind of beware. Like this is, it's heavy too. So you, if you, you could use this as a wall hanging. You can use this hanging in anywhere in your house, in your car, whatever. But I would use it for a necklace because I like big, bold stuff. But here are the ones that are going in the shop. They're enormous. But I just, I got a good deal on them and I wanted to bring that to you. So let's see. I think five I got for the shop. But these are, the two that I got are similar. They're in here, so... Aren't those cool? Like I said, I'm not like a power buyer like a lot of the people who are out in Tucson, but I wanted to get some stuff that was, you know, spoke uniquely to me. And so I can bring that to you guys. 
because you might not see some of the stuff that I thought was cool from the people who are buying tons of stuff. I got these flowers. These will be in the shop as well. So we've got green and yellow and then blue and yellow. And sometimes it's kind of hard to find these flowers. These were, for a long time, these were the only African glass I bought while I was in Tucson. I was like, I can't believe I bought any African glass, but nothing was like speaking to me until later on when I went back the second time. I got these for myself. These are old. These are vintage. I have a strand that has these and red on them, um, but I saw them. I was like, oh, I need those for myself. They're so lovely. And then I got us some batik bone strands. So we've got um, like this kind of, I don't know, diamondish pattern on this one. And then like a, almost like apostrophe pattern on those. These are batik. They're little chiclets, what I call them. And then I got us a bunch of the circle kind. Oh, we have this strand too. It's got like a chevron. And then a bunch with like the circle, almost like an eye look. I got one strand of polka dots. I got five strands of these longer chevron with dot um, beads. I'm going to keep one strand, but um, the rest are going to go into the shop. I thought they were really cool and I hadn't really seen these before. Oh, um, this one's slightly different, so I have to make note of that when I'm taking photos. This one's kind of like it's still got the dot in the middle, but it's got a, a weird pattern. I don't know. I think they're cool. You know me. I love beads. Love bone beads. And then here's two more strands of those. So we're gonna have tons, enough bone beads, I think. <laughs> oh, here's another guy who was hiding. I must have gotten another one of those. And then I just got some of these little tiny charms. Um, I think this one's a lobster. <laughs> like, how how cute is that? These are brass. Um, I am not going to wash these. They have a, a general patina on them. You can shine those up if you'd like. Um, but look at that. It's a little lobster or crawfish, crawfish or whatever. I don't know. So I got a couple of the lobsters. Like, like I guess I got five lobsters. And then I got four of these. And these just look like some random reptile. I don't know if they're a f or amphibian. I, I don't know which. I don't know if they're a frog or a turtle. But I got four of those. Maybe they're an armadillo. I don't know. But those will be in the shop as well. So that was my first stop at African Village, even though it's like the third thing I've shown you. And then this was my last stop before the, the heart bowls at African Village. And I got a bunch from this seller. And I cannot remember his name, but he was such a sweet man too. I got to tell you, they're the nicest people on, on earth. The nicest people ever. And they have such cool stuff to talk about. So these, I thought when I was in the stall that they were white polka dots, but they're like a periwinkle almost. They're a really cool blue polka dot. So I got a strand of those. I got several strands of these because this is like one of my favorite recycled glass beads. It is so smooth. It's got like almost like a granite look in the middle. And we've got this vibrant blue on the outside. So I think I got like five strands or something like that for that for my store. I got several strands of red. This isn't the most vibrant red compared to the blue, but it is still a really nice, like, calm red. I got us some white. I love that. This is my absolute favorite in this style is this white. So I'll be keeping a strand of those. I think I already have the blue. Um, if I don't have the red, I'll be keeping a strand of those as well. But the, the white, red, and blue are going in the shop. If you get all three, you can do something patriotic, I guess. And I will be washing all of these before I sell them because they, they, they smell like dirt because they're outside all day long and my hands are dirty and I don't want to ship dirty beads. So they'll get a, a rinse in and I will show you how I do that. Gosh, I did get a, quite a lot of those blues. I don't think I realized I got that many blue. So maybe they'll be in the shop in spurts. Um, I don't want to overload on the same bead. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these. Look at this color. Look at these colors. So this is one strand, has all of these colors on it. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna keep, they look like Fruit Loops. Don't these look like Fruit Loops? Like you can make um, such a fun, like fruity flavored necklace. I'm gonna keep one of these for myself, but the rest are, will eventually make it their way online. And these beads are a little heavy. I don't know what kind of shipping, um, like if I'm going to do any shipping incentives because shipping's expensive. Um, but you know, just, 
obviously, I think like priority is going to be the highest priced one, obviously, but you can get a lot of beads in a priority box these days. This is another one. This is more coastal. So this I feel like is more tropical and this is more coastal. Um, it's like pinks and blues and greens. And then, I mean, this is pinks and blues and greens, but they're just different tones. Even though this one kind of has some of the same as this one, that orange and yellow and that darker blue really pop this. And this is more beachy. So several strands of those. My goal is to make videos using some of these so you have ideas, but I need I need an assistant. Somebody come live with me for beads, please. I, I tried stealing Shira from Sam so many times while I was in in Tucson and she, she they weren't buying it. They weren't they weren't having it. Um, I'm gonna move a lot of these beads in just a second, but this strand I got as home decor for my house because they're huge. This was $13. This is the cheapest I've seen them this year. Typically you can get them for 10, but this year everything everything was more expensive this year. But I got these for my house. I got two strands of the Bali, Bali I think they call it brass. Um, I don't know if I'll be keeping these yet. I haven't I haven't made up my mind. So I might put some like feet like maybe five piece sets. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I really liked these, thought they were really fun. This is the strand that got me to go in to the booth because he had such a good price on this. Um, I, I think I'm gonna hang on to it for now. Uh, I only got one. I just think it's so cool. And um, these are big beads. I mean, they take a lot of material to make. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're very dirty though. <laughs> and then um, I got us a bunch of these smaller strands in case you're a person who just doesn't like want a huge strand or doesn't know hasn't used African beads before just wants to try it out just wants to get a little toe dip in the pool that is African glass so these are also stretchy bracelets I mean I guess you could just wear it as a stretchy bracelet cute 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 but um several beads this one has one two three four okay that's right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve beads um I think that'll vary but I would I'm gonna sell it as is like this and so I got this blue orange red or blue yellow red some brown that's more like neutral with some blue green and these are not unlimited like I got several of each but that's it I mean not until I go back this fall um, this one's like a mix of blue, green, and red. I got these blue and white ones. These are kind of cool. I might keep these. I actually think I might have something like this, but I don't know. In the pre, in some of the video that I shot while I was in, um, African Village, there was one where I was like, oh, maybe I'll talk to this guy. He has some really cool Krobo beads that I haven't seen. His prices were outrageous. And I know how much these things cost because I've been doing and shopping these shows for so long and so often he just I don't know if he just didn't want to sell beads or it, it might have been I think it was like the first or second day of the show so that could have been the reason why but I just at that that you know I'm like okay I'm gonna go find Aji or the guy who sold me these beads because he really he knew that I knew what I was talking about and I know how much other people are charging for beads and it's okay to say you know how much is this um and then walk away because they'll either come get you or you'll find it for cheaper at somebody else's stall. And so they're really probably looking for the people who don't know that. This one's all red. So fun. These are just so fun. And you can, I mean, you can mix this with check glass. You can mix this with lamp work. You can mix it with whatever, gemstones. I just, I love them so much. Um, this one's brown. Oh, is this the only one I bought? Brown and cream. This one has cool, like, this looks like candy to me. Like those dots, the paper dots, candy dots on the paper. My aunt used to use that. I uh, used to eat those when I was a kid. She loved those things. Um, some of blue, like a yellow, like buttercream color and red. And then, I don't know, it looks like this is the only one like this that I bought. And then brown. Oh, this one's got like a straggler on it. Uh, that's not the same. And then uh, brown, white, creamish, and blue. So tons of stuff. This is not all going in at the same time. That would be wild. I can't, I, I just don't think I could even handle something like that. Um, but it will eventually this year get into the shop and I will tell you every time I put new stuff in there. 
So that was my African bead haul. I'm gonna go look for my two African bowls that I bought. All right, here's the bowl I got for myself. Although now looking at the other ones that I got, I kind of wanna trade it out, but I think I'll keep it. <laughs> and then I got this one for myself too. This is a much larger one. It was more expensive. I did not buy this size for the shop. I wanted to keep them relatively um, affordable and I wouldn't have been able to do that with the price point on this bowl. So those are the two that I got for myself. And then I got this basket. <laughs> it's so big. Let me see if I can back out a little bit. Isn't that pretty? So there's my, my basket. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but it's beautiful. I hadn't seen one like this before. Um, typically they're more like this. This is a Mexican one, but a lot of them are like this. Um, and this one was just a little different. It had the flatter, I don't know, leaves, raffia, whatever. And I liked how they were woven right here. So anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're most excited about and um, we'll wash some beads. Hi, cutie. Hi.